Yeah, Straight Drop having a tough time in the cell right now. He already got jumped by like five dudes uh, up in there. They already didn't like him. Uh, they knew he wasn't about uh, anything. Like, he can't fight. A lot of these dudes who be doing drills, they can't actually fight. They have no hands. So when Straight Drop and Cornelius Smith got locked up, Straight Drop, he went to general population, it immediately got jumped. And everybody found out he can't even fight. That's why he that's why they have him doing the drill, man. That's why these dudes go and pick up the pole and the straps, is because they can't actually fight. And um he it, and he basically proved it because uh word on the street is that it was uh it was like lunchtime and everything, so they went and got their lunch and straight drop go sit down for lunch. And these two big old dudes come, come and they, they're like, hey, you straight drop, right? We heard you, you're supposed to be a tough guy around here. And they ate all his food off his tray. And straight drop didn't do a dang thing about it. So they pushed him and tested tested his gangster. And, and he had no choice but to square up or else he was going to look in front of the whole, uh, the whole population like he was going to look weak, weak, you know. So they squared up. And, oh, man, let me tell you, these dudes gave Straight Drop a two-piece with a side of biscuit and a drink. They was giving him the work. I mean, left, right, hooks, undercuts. They dropped him down to the ground. They even let him get back up. Like, when he fell down, they didn't even jump on him. They let him get back up and just boom, boom. They was just trying to show and expose that he can't even fight. And that's why he had to go and get the straps and stuff like that. So a lot of these street dudes, they be uh, keep the pole on them and stuff. And they never, um, you know, they never want to sort anything out like like normal people. You know what I mean? They just want to hurry up and, and get to pulling uh, triggers and shit like that. But the real reason that these dudes act that way, the majority of them, not all of them, a lot. Some of them is, can fight and can and can ain't. But most of them. They can't fight at all because they too little, they too skinny. They never actually got in a real fight. Like around the time that that men like growing up, if you growing up a man, right? And you like 13, 14 years old, that's around the time where you, you going to have like your first real fight like coming up. You know what I mean? When you get in a fight as a little eight-year-old that ain't that ain't nothing but when you like 14 15 16 that's your first real fight now the thing about these dudes is that that's when they go and get the strap is when they 13 14 15 so they never even got in a fight they got their strap first they get their strap before they ever got in a fight so they never learned to fight they didn't care about defending themselves with their own hands they never learned about what it was like sorting out your issues like it was back in the day you know back in the day if somebody had a problem you would meet out in the street you would go up to the sidewalk you would go back behind the school the school bathroom anywhere you would go somewhere at the park or whatever right and y'all do do sit out but that's not what straight dropping them do straight dropping them when they get mad when they get offended they so quick to go get the strap and go try to blow up a bowling alley and they try to go get the strap and then just oh somebody got beef with you let's go ride so they never um they quick to jump to it like over something petty you know what i mean like the cashier didn't give you back two cents oh they're gonna go and, and, and shoot the place up like that is the stupidest type of people in the world you know what i mean and not only are they stupid it's that they can't even fight. So it's like y'all stupid and weak. The only thing you know is to get the strap. And the funny thing is that some of these dudes, they be getting the jankiest straps. They be getting straps that don't even work. And matter of fact, they don't even know how to blow it. They don't even know how to how to bust it back. You know what I mean? So they just do like, you know, po point it. And off it, they try to get the the ones that with the switch that make it go f shoot off faster because they know that they aim is the aim is trash, so they just got to get more 
more shots up in the air, you know? It's just like if you're a basketball player and you suck at shooting threes and you need to make five threes, right, to win the game, you're going to have to jack up a bunch of threes because you know your aim's bad, so you're going to have to shoot more in order to make more. That's the same thing with straight dropping these dudes with the straps is that that they know they can't aim, so they got to go get drakes and the fast firing ones. That way they could send a lot of shots in the air and they don't have to necessarily have good aim. So, yeah, so not they, they're really not even that skilled. Like, as far as they had to make a whole stage crime scene and a, and a plan, like plot a planned out stage crime scene in order to make it look like they got somebody. I mean, his aim so bad that he didn't even hit hit nobody in the, like, in the bowling alley, he ain't ca catch no bodies there, this dude sucks, like, what, how he'd say he a shooter, but he ain't hit nobody, <laughs> like, he ain't, he ain't caught no bodies then, but then they want to get the clout off it, like, they're not even doing it right, so basically, I'm telling y'all is that dude got jumped, and Cornelius didn't do nothing to help him, because he ain't even there in the same spot as he is, um, but yeah, straight drop got whooped and now he he uh he's somebody's like little right hand person. So now because he got beat up in jail, he has to do whatever the person beat him up does, and the person that beats up that beat him up gets to hold him by his pockets. So now straight drop turn basically they turned him into a, a more feminine role in that in that uh general population. They they lowered his status down from, from like, you know, tough guy to he's not even a man no more. They don't look at him as a man. They look at him as a, basically like the most feminine person there because he was weak. He got beat up and now he has to do what they tell him and they get to hold him by his pockets and boss him around and they get to eat his food off his tray and he can't do anything about it because he don't even know how to fight. So that's the sad reality of what's going to happen to any person that want to go down this lifestyle. If y'all think this is still cool, if y'all if y'all still think that this is lit, then this is exactly where you're going to end up. You're going to end up just like straight drop, becoming somebody's little girl inside of a prison cell. And you're going to get bossed around. You're never going to get any anything that you want. Um, and basically, you turn into into somebody's little girl in there and that's just crazy like you know you you could either choose to to live your life a certain type of way and be a free man or you could be somebody's little bit in the cell so you decide um but yeah it's not looking good for straight drop it is definitely not looking good for any of those dudes they're getting tested inside those systems inside themselves they're getting people are really uh, testing them and saying y'all ain't as tough as you say you ain't got no strap in here so show me sh show me your hands like come on let's do duke this out because you got problems with everybody else up in here trying to take out dolphin dam trying to be uh you know what i mean trying to gang cloud or something you ain't even good at and Dolph and them didn't even want to sign you that's why they signed uh big moochie great and you was just salty and now Nobody in there like Yo Gotti and CMG, so they know that you part of CMG, and this is where they they definitely know in them in them prisons because like that's CMG is a, is a street affiliated group, right? So everybody that's in the streets that get locked up is gonna know what CMG is, and they're gonna know the real connection between Straight Drop and CMG, and that's why they jump. So, yeah, tune back in to hear more about what happened there and everything like that. And we're going to get an update from the doctors up in there.